Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to download and install our free blog post template for Divi's Painter Layout Pack. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so the first thing you want to do is to head over to this blog post, which I'll link to in the show notes below. Once you get to this post, you want to scroll down and click on get it for free today. Add your email address, click on download, and then click on download the files. So as you can see, my files have been downloaded here to the bottom of my screen. So all you have to do is to navigate to that file and unzip it. So let me just show you where it is. So here it is. It's on my desktop. So I'm going to double click on this to unzip. And this is the file that we're going to be using in a moment. So I'm just going to pull this to the side for a bit. And then what I'm going to do now is to go to my admin dashboard of my website. Now I already have Divi installed. So I'm going to scroll all the way down here to Divi and then click on theme builder. Next, I need to find that file which I just downloaded. And here it is. So what I'm going to do now is to click on portability. Click on import and now it's time to add our file. So I'm just going to click on it and drag it over here and then click on import DV theme builder templates. OK, so you can see now this has been applied to my blog post, which is fantastic. Now, before I save, let's take a look and see what the blog posts look like right now. So I'm just going to open this in a new tab and here's my blog post. So I'm going to click on view. So by default, this is what it looks like. We have this text, which is not customized. And also we can see we don't really have a layout on this blog post. So what we're going to do now is to save changes. And this is going to uh, apply all our changes to our blog post template. So now when I refresh this page, you're going to notice that we have a totally different design. And I'm sure you can agree with me that this looks way much better. So as you can see here, we have our image here. We have our meta description and we have a lot of styles to this including the related posts here and even the comments area has been redesigned we also have an email uh, subscription here as well now every time you create a new blog post it is going to have this layout the only difference is you're going to have a different image here and over here you're going to uh, have your main title now let's go into this template and see how we can customize this and uh, perhaps make a few changes to make it match our own website so i want to show you how to do that so i'm going to click here on edit okay so i'm in my builder now so what i'm going to do is to first start off by uh, making changes to our text over here. So to make changes to this, I'm going to click on my module settings and this is going to take me to my text settings. So this has dynamic text and this is targeting our post or archive title. So what I'm going to do next is to come over here to design. So this is where we're going to make our changes. So if I click here, this is going to take me to heading one and this is our font set to ultra bold. So this is where you can change your colors over here. So you can see as I'm cycling through these colors, my color here is updating. So you may want to choose a color here that matches your design. OK, so let me just bring this back to black and I'm going to just save that. Next, let's take a look here at this area. So if I click here, this is going to take me to my blurb settings. So here, my dynamic text is linking to my post author and we can customize this as well by clicking on this pen brush tool and this is taking us to heading four so over here we can set our font so let's say you want to really follow the same style we can change this to monster rat and we can also change the colors by coming over here and you can see here it's updating now what we can also do is we can adjust the size so if i scroll further down here i can make this slightly bigger or I can just make it smaller. OK, so uh, this is how you make updates to this. So I'm going to discard all changes. Now, you may have noticed that we have this design here in the background. So to uh, take a look at that, we're going to go into our row settings and then we're going to come over here to our first column. Click on background and we can see here that this is our main background. And there are a few elements that are added here. So we have our image and we also have our gradient. So you can also adjust your gradient here. So as I am dragging this further down, you can see it's revealing 
uh, that shape in the background. So again, you can play around with that until you're happy with how it looks. And these are the shapes that are being added onto our site. So you can change this if you want, but if you want to get rid of it completely, you can just delete it here. And as you can see, it is gone. All right, so I am going to close out of here. Next, let's take a look here at this area here. So I'm going to click our first module here, and this is a blurb. So what we can do here is we can uh, change our icon. So if I come over here to image and icon, I can uh, choose a different icon altogether like that. But of course, we don't want to do that. I'm just showing you where you can change it. Over here on the design, we can go to image and icon. And this is where we can change our color. So you can see as I'm clicking through here, my color here is changing. Next, we also have our text. So if I click on this paintbrush tool, it's going to take us to our title text. And we're going to change this from default to monster rat. And if we need to, we can increase the size over here. And we can also change the color. So by just clicking here on my color palettes, my color here is also updating. So that is what you can do on all these other modules. Next, let's take a look and see how we can change this background color here. So I'm going to click on my row settings again, and this is the third column. So I'm going to click on this gear icon and go straight to my background. And again, if I change this, you can see right away that um, it is updating and all the colors are changing. OK, so again, I'm going to close out of here. Let's move on to the next part. And this is our post settings so to change your fonts you can just come over here so let's start here with our heading so i'm going to click on this gear icon and let's change this to say monster rat so you can see here by just doing that i can change all the headings on my blog posts so we're going to go with uh, semi bold or you can choose bold and you can also play around with your colors here Okay, so I'm going to move on to my next item, which is my paragraph text. So again, I'm going to click here and change my paragraph text. I'm going to choose Monster Rat. And with that selected, I can also change my text size over here. And if I need to adjust my line height, I can do that over here. Okay, so pretty much that's all I need to do. I am going to save this and let's move on to the next part. So our image here is fine. We don't really have to change anything on the image. Now we have this huge section which has this design here in the background. So first of all, if you want to know how to remove it, you can just click here on background and then you can just come over here and click on this image to remove it. And then you can just click here on this uh, bin to delete it. So now you can see that the shape is gone and uh, you can also change the color of that shape over here. So you can play around with that until you're happy with how this looks like. So for now, I am going to just close out of here because I think this looks better with the shape. Let's move on to the next part. And this is uh, this module here, which is the blurb, the blurb module. And you can change your design here by coming over here to say your title. And this is heading four. OK, so over here we can change our title. We can also increase the size by just uh, increasing it here. And my description text as well, we can change this to Monster Rat from our default just to have our consistency. OK, so I'm going to save that and move on. So over here on the related post as well, what you could do is you can go in here and change the text. So this is heading two. So if you want to change that, you can come over here to design heading text and then uh, go to heading two. And this is where you can make those changes. So I'm going to close out of here. Moving on, we also have our comments area. You can see in the background, we have this shape again, and we also have this color. And to make changes to that, you can just click here on this gear icon, click on background. When we come over here now to our image, we can delete the image over here, but we're not going to do that. So moving on, we also have this comments area which you can customize by clicking on this gear icon and this is going to take us to our comments settings so you can go to each and every one of these areas by clicking on this paintbrush and this will give you all the settings so for example on the comments here you can see our fields background if you, if i do that that has added this color here so you can go in and uh, customize that 
and uh, have the design you want. Okay, so moving on, we also have the subscribe. And again, we can do the same thing. We can just click here on this gear icon. This takes us to, to, into our email opt-in. But this is very important because what you need to do here is to make sure you connect your email account over here. Now we have several that we have. Now I use Fluent CRM, so I would just come over here and then choose my list and uh, click on add. And every time someone uh, signs up, they will be added to the mailing list that I've just chosen. All right, so I'm going to close out of here. And to make changes to this, it's similar to what I showed you uh, in the beginning. You can just click here on design and uh, go to this little paintbrush icon and change your colors over here. So once all that is done, you can just save. And once you've saved this, you need to um, save this one more time and then close out of here, save and exit. So now once you're happy with everything, you have to do one more save here to save everything. And now when we come over here and refresh, you can now see all our changes. And this gets applied pretty much to all our blog posts on our website. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.